Brent here from American English with this guy. And in today's English lesson, I am going to get a haircut. In case you can't tell, um, it's been a long time since I've had a haircut and I really need one. Hopefully they can fix this mop. A lot of times when your hair is just a little too long and messy, you can call it a mop. So I'm going to get my haircut at a place called Faded in Auburn, Maine. And we are going to learn all about English terms having to do with getting your hair cut. The first thing I wanna teach you is uh, appointment. I have an appointment. Last week, I wanted to get my hair cut, but they were booked up. Booked up, that's an English verb meaning they were full. They couldn't take any more customers. So I had to make an appointment for Tuesday at five o'clock. It's almost five o'clock. So I need to go in and, and get my hair cut for five o'clock. Also, another term you might hear is walk-ins. So they do accept walk-ins, but what that means is you walk into the barber shop, they may be able to cut your hair or you might have to wait. And when I went in last week, I had to wait too long. They were all booked up. So I made an appointment. They said that I could film my haircut and teach you some English. And um, I'm gonna give them $100 for my haircut. They offer a haircut, a beard trim, and an eyebrow wax. So I think I'm gonna get a haircut. I might get an eyebrow wax just because, uh, you know, it's on camera. I've only had my eyebrows waxed one time before, many years ago, but I say, why not? Let's do it here. And uh, I do wanna show you something before we go into the barber shop. Uh, you see there it says walk-ins welcome but they have a barber pole a barber pole it's called almost every barber shop in the united states will have a barber pole barber pole they're barber not not the name barbara barber 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 and they are called Faded. There's another cool sign over here. All right, let's go in and uh, fix this mop, get a haircut here. Looks like someone else is getting a haircut too. And they have a dog here. We need to make sure the uh, door shuts so the dog doesn't get out. Okay. What's the dog's name? Bauer. Bauer, ooh, Bauer get out. <laughs> he's, a, he's a French bulldog, that's what we say in English, and uh, a Frenchie for short. Let's see if I can open this door here. Without letting him out. All right, I'm gonna get my hair cut right over here in this chair. I'm gonna take my jacket off first. A lot of times they have um, coat racks. Ooh, coat rack right here. And it looks like they're, look at this, American football. American football's on the television. That's the way we do it. Not European football, American football. All right, I hung my coat up. It looks like they have a little waiting room here. A little dartboard. Some foosball. And a dog who's sniffing my dad's shoes. He's made so many good plays in the backfield today. Just got a little overzealous there at the end of that. What are we doing, Angel? They have a bathroom. Just in case you need the bathroom. And what's your name? Jason. Jason. Jason is going to cut my hair today. 
He's got quite the task yeah. ahead of him. <laughs> That's usually the first question they ask you is, what do you want to do today? Well, as you can see, um, I'm going bald up here. So if you could work some magic somehow and hide that, that would be good. Gotcha. Um, I normally cut my own hair, so I think anything you do will be fine. And I think if you don't mind, we'll do the uh, the eyebrow wax. Uh, so I can't do eyebrow waxes, um, and unfortunately, the one that can do them is fully booked until December second. Okay. Wow. Yeah, it's it's been crazy for booking. Eyebrow waxing. That's a. Uh, Hot commodity, huh? Right. <laughs> December 2nd. So I'm filming this on November 2nd. Yep. So. Yep. Looks like the eyebrows are going to have to wait. Yeah. Yeah, she's regularly booked out one month. So it's busy. And did you hear that? He used a phrasal verb, booked out. It's just, they can't take you right now. No appointments. No availability. Can you do uh, beard trims? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Beard trims. Okay. Yep. We'll, we'll trim up the beard today. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get this around here. Okay. Uh, yeah, it might be kind of hard to hold a camera at the same time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Is that too tight? Nah, it's okay. It's okay. okay. I can loosen it up if you want. Uh, if you don't mind, a little bit maybe. And what is it? We, what we call this a cape that you put on me? Yep. <laughs> and it's supposed to keep the uh, the hair off your clothes. <laughs> it is a pain to get it out of your clothes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lovely little things called hair splinters. Yeah. <laughs> they itch. Yes, they do. So, how short do you normally go on the sides? I don't go that short, but yeah. you're the professional. So, I will trust you, whatever you feel, you know, the shape of my head, it's a pretty wide head, given my age, you know, I'm 45, so I don't want to look too young, but I don't want to look too old. How long have you been cutting hair? About a year. Okay. Yep. Um, so I could do a one-two fade, or I could start with a four and see how you like it, and then try and taper it up. That okay. Way we don't take off too much, and if you want to take it down shorter, we can. Okay. Thanks. See, I don't know what that means in English. A one-two <laughs> fade, so you. So. A two, one, two fade, so I'd take everything down to a two. Right. Okay. And then I'd go in with a one, and I'd go halfway up and fade it down into a one, and then I'd taper the back of the neck. So okay. they kind of... So a one would be really close? Yep. So okay. your, your one would be closer down near the base of your neck. I trust you. I trust you. <laughs> Professional. Jason. <laughs> oh, I was going to ask you, too, do you wax my eyebrows? Yeah. Oh, okay. I've been waiting to have that done for a while. <laughs> I've been letting this grow out because I knew that, you know, I'd be getting a haircut on camera, so. Yep. Yeah. Nice transformation. <laughs> yeah. So I'm leaving a little bit of a weight line to blend in the top. Okay. But this length right here is a four. Okay. Do you want to keep it at that length? Do you want a little bit shorter than that? I don't know. What do you think? I think I could go maybe a little bit shorter. Little shorter. Maybe like a three? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. The, the less hair I have over here, maybe will make it look like I have a little bit more hair in here. Yeah. It's not much up there anymore. <laughs> we'll do our best. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you guys been open? About a year. Oh, about a year? Yep. 
Yeah. The, the owner of the shop, Liv, she's been cutting hair for like seven years. Oh, wow. Well. Even if you do tell them a fade, they just don't do it. Yeah. like, wow. What made you want to start cutting hair? Uh, I got kind of tired of my old career. Yeah. And just decided one day, because my wife is also a barber. Okay. Um, just decided one day, you know, I'm always hanging out with barbers when I'm home. Might as well get look into it. So. Yeah. Doesn't matter if there's a, a pandemic or not. Like people need their haircut. Right. Exactly. So you you guys opened up after the whole COVID thing. Uh, she started the shop. Like she put the shop together right during the first lockdown. Oh jeez. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Me too. <laughs> I know there was a time like last year everybody had to wear masks during the haircut. Yep. Yeah, when I was learning to cut hair, we still had to do the whole mask thing. So you were learning how to like grab a hold of the strap and hold it and try to cut the hair at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, for how long? Right, exactly. I mean, you're going to be like, so I'm leaving some stuff to blend into. How's that look for like on the side there? Yeah. A little bit shorter. I mean, I don't know. You think right, I'll try? I trust you. Yeah. I'll trust you since I'll you're the professional. I'll take down with this first and see how you like it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So how'd you hear it faded? Um, I drive by here on my way to work every day. Okay. And uh, I thought the windows looked pretty cool. Yep. So I'm like, oh. And you guys had that really bright light somewhere over there. Okay. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, that might be kind of a cool place to go into. Yeah. It's real comfy at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to do that. Right? I said, I know, you know, starting a business, you know, getting your name out there. It's tough. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's nice at the same time. Yeah. You know, it's nice being able to kind of make your own schedule and right. figure all that out. Because before this, I was a merchant mariner. Oh, really? Yep. And it didn't matter if it was funerals, weddings, rain, snow, you were out there. No, a merchant mariner. Yep. You were on a boat for yep. a lot of the time. Yep. I would be, so I worked on tugboats. Okay. And mine was a 28 14 rotation. So I'd be gone for 28 days, home for 14 days, and it came out to about nine months out of the year away from home. So. Do you have any kids? Nope. No. No. One day, maybe? Maybe. That would be a tough profession to have a kid. I I have yet to meet somebody who's been able to have a family and keep it together while yeah. working out there. I don't like the meat in the book. It's a classic. Right. It's because they're all frozen. I know this is probably a horrible thing, but I remember when I was working on boats, my mom came in one time when I got home. She was like, where's your girlfriend? And the girlfriend she was talking about, I was like, that was like three girlfriends ago. Wow. Yeah. It's tough. Yep. Now, are there many women who are also... You, you didn't say Merchant Marine, did you? Yep. Or yep. That's, okay. Yeah, there's uh, quite a few, actually. Well, more and more nowadays, especially. Yeah. Maybe another Merchant Marine, you know, you could... They, they would know the lifestyle. They might be a little more understanding. Right, exactly. But that's about it. I have a buddy. He works in television. Yep. So he's... Very similar schedule. He'll be home for a few weeks, but maybe gone for like nine months. Yep. And then, you know, it's, it's hard. Oh, yeah. yeah. He doesn't have any kids. I don't know how you do. Right. I mean, that'd be a hard thing to balance, having a away from home schedule and having kids and all that stuff. Yeah. I'm glad my wife and I are both teachers. Yep. So, like, 
since the kids were young, we've been able to have the summers with them, yep. which is good. Yeah. I remember when I was working out there, I met somebody who was telling me about a friend of his that was a captain, and his wife was a captain, and they worked opposite rotations. Oh my gosh. So when he was home for his two weeks, she was out for 28 days, and they were just never home. And then they would have like a vacation at the end of the year when they finally go hang out with each other. Jeez. Life's too short, man. Seriously. Bacon, egg, cheese. What's that blade? Is that like a one or less than a one? No, it's less than a this one. Right? Less than a one. So this is a trimmer. Oh, a trimmer. Yep. And this is like getting all the detail work and setting in lines and stuff like that. If you need to need to tilt my head at all, so you're not you're just all good. They have a little postcard too, so once you have like, I think it's like kind of full time, Oh really? This is to me. This is the scary one, the trimmer. The scary one? Yep. Yeah. Have you ever cut anybody? I haven't cut anybody, but it's really easy to like mess up a haircut because it takes it right. down yeah. quick. I won't move. <laughs> I'll stay still. So when's the last time you got a haircut? Um, like professionally? Yep. Oh, it's been a few years. Definitely before the world shut down. Right. So then I started cutting my. So when's the last time you got a haircut? Um, like professionally? Yep. Oh, it's been a few years, definitely before the world shut down. Right. So then I started cutting my own hair. My wife cut my hair for a long time. You know, she did well, but and then I would just kind of cut my own hair, you know, because my hair's barely there as it is, so it really doesn't matter. Right. Right. Yeah. Definitely. And then I figured, you know, for an English lesson. Something a little different. Myself, I'm not getting 20 minutes. It's a good one too because oh, no, a couple of my friends no, that are barbers, they so always so joke that you go into your barbers like cheap therapy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I told him, I was like, can you just let me know that I'm like stuck in the room and You must hear some interesting conversations. Oh my dear. Yeah. 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 You get people on their worst days and their best days and you hear a lot of different things. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. My wife is a barber. She had one. There was a person that she had that was going through some pretty rough times, and she called me up. She goes, "We're going to get some drinks." <laughs> like, you even sometimes being the listener can be uh, draining, right? Especially you get to kind of build up a friendship with the people that you're cutting, and you get to know them and everything. And it's not just some stranger who's going through a divorce or something like that. It's somebody you feel like you know. Right. Yeah, we get a little bit of that with uh, with teachers, you know, and uh, we hear our students, you know, going through some stuff. Yep. I never do that ever, but I don't know. And the older I get, the more I notice hair will grow in other parts of my body. Yep. But it won't grow on the top of my head. <laughs> ears. That's one that I've noticed on a lot of men, is it starts to grow inside the ear first. My mood has improved in the morning. When I was in school, I had a regular that would come in. And he, I, I, I don't know how he heard anything. Like he had <laughs> hair earplugs just about. Uh, how old was he? He must have been 70s. Yeah. It's probably something I get to look forward to. <laughs> I hope, right? You, you hope you can get to be 70. Yeah, exactly. But 
you know uh, how you can get your eyebrows waxed and stuff like that? Yeah. Apparently you can get your ears waxed. I wouldn't want to try it. <laughs> like, I even freak out if I get like soap in my ears taking a right. shower. Right, right. I'm gonna blow you off real quick. Okay. okay. So there's a... Another English phrasal verb there, blow you off. So he used the, the hair dryer and blew the hair off my body. Do you like your neck tapered or do you just right. like it blocked? Right, yeah, no, it's right. Whatever you think looks best. <laughs> So it's like, oh, the body's Tapered would mean it has like, a, it comes to a point at the bottom, yep. right? Tapered? Yeah, so like if you, if your hair is thick up near the top, and it would get like thinner and thinner and thinner until it got down to the neck, and it would kind of go down to skin. So instead of just being a block point. Yeah, I don't know. Some people, you know, it's up to you. Whatever you think works. Everything done at five in the morning, and I wish I could, but different yeah, angle look here, maybe. Probably have to at least go to bed at like ten. Right now, I'm just kind of blending in that weight line. Right? around the ridge of the hair. Okay. Um, that is the weight line. Yeah, that's probably the hardest part. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
21. So I went home, looked how to do a brake job on a Jeep Wrangler. The next day when I got my parts and did the job brake job myself, I think I spent like 100 bucks in parts. Are you serious? Yeah. See, I'd be scared to do that. I'd worry that I'd mess it up even more and then have to pay more. Exactly. That's awesome you can do that. Yeah. It's amazing what you can find on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Grows out better too when you do it like this. Oh really? Because if you if you block it off, it kind of grows out. It kind of puffs out at the bottom. Yeah. Whereas if you taper it, you get a little bit more time out of your haircut before it starts to look like it needs a haircut. I mean, YouTube is on If I'm watching my show, is that, is that good for business? You want people to come back more quickly, right? Well, you want them to come back more quickly, but you also want them to look good when you walk out that door. Yeah. It's uh, like my instructor told me at school, every haircut that walks out that door is a walking advertisement. It's true. And if somebody sees a haircut, they're like, wow, that's really screwed up. Where'd you get that haircut? Yeah. You tell them where it was, like, okay, well, I'm not going to go there. Right. <laughs> Yes. And there'll, there'll, there'll be a link in the description below if you want Jason to cut your hair, yeah. faded here. There we go. And <laughs> it, might be, it might be a little ways to travel know. for some of the viewers, <laughs> but... We'll make it work. Yeah. If they're ever in Auburn, Maine, yeah. come to Faded and see Jason. Oh, yeah. It looks good. Thanks. Yeah. Last a little bit longer. Yeah. So on top, we yeah. want to keep some of the length, but we don't want to <laughs> show any of the bald spot right here. Yeah, if you, can, if you can do that, that would be pretty amazing. I usually do kind of have it spiked up a little bit. Okay. So as you, much wear, as I can. you wear it kind of up. A little bit, yeah. Okay. So this is long right now. Very long. Okay. Very long. So... I like to spike it up a little bit. A little bit, yeah. And like you said, that is a really long. <laughs> so, do you, you spike it up right here? Yeah. Is it normally like this tall when you spike it? Or a little bit taller? Uh, about that tall, what about you just showed, yeah. So, what I could do is, I could do just like a little bit more than finger length, so we'll take off that much. Okay. Does that sound good to you? Or? Sure. Yeah. Because that'll leave some of the light back here. Okay. And that gives you something in the front to kind of style. I'll try not to spray your camera. Oh, it's okay. It's, uh, it's kind of waterproof. Okay. The microphone on, on it isn't so much, but a little splash won't hurt. Great. Yeah. Is that a GoPro? Yeah. Yep. GoPro. It came out with a new one, but I'm going to stick with this one. Yeah. I always kind of regretted not getting a GoPro when I worked on the ocean. Oh, yeah. Because I thought it would have been really fun to kind of show people what I did out there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think anybody can, you know, the profession, if it allows it, I yeah. think, you know, a barbershop might even, you know? Yep. There's actually a lot of people that, like, record their haircuts and put them on YouTube and stuff yeah. like that. So when you style your hair, do you use product? Styling. That's that's very generous. I usually just kind of, yeah, I put some hairspray in it and okay. then, yeah. So you don't use like a pomade or any of that stuff? No. Okay. Yeah, uh, if you hear product in English, that's like hairspray, mousse, maybe some product over there. Yeah. Stuff like that. Is hairspray considered product? Maybe yeah. it's not. Oh, is it? No, okay. it is. In, anything that you really kind of put in your hair to help style it and keep it in place and stuff like that. Okay. If my instructor is watching your channel, I have to tell her I know I'm going to ask my second no, knuckle. Just ignore it. <laughs> okay. When I was at school, she would like yell at me from across the barber store not to cut past my second knuckle. And I was horrible. Still am. Yeah, it's a hard thing to break out of that habit. The most clean-looking meal I've ever seen. <laughs> Doesn't. Oh, I was just gonna say the knuckle is is this part of the finger right there, your knuckle. 
It doesn't really affect the styling yeah. of the hair. It's just a safety thing for my own fingers. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. Careful. For heat. Oh, there. I mean, if, if you did cut yourself, it might make for a better video. Yeah, you might get some views on that, yeah. <laughs> but please don't. I mean, especially this close to Halloween. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, we just celebrated Halloween like two or three days ago. Yesterday. Was he, Oh, yesterday. Yep. So my kids are old enough that they don't, uh, they don't... Wait, no, today's Tuesday, right? Yep. Uh, is it? Oh, I think you know it is. What? Yeah, no. Day before yesterday. Yeah. Yep, Sunday was, yep. Time is flying. It really is. Yes, I'm filming this on November 2nd. Yeah, I teach school, so, you know, Monday, Tuesday, you think. But yeah, it seems like Monday didn't even happen. Really? <laughs> Seriously. Seriously, though. Yeah. And you guys are closed on Mondays? Closed uh, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. Sunday, Monday. <laughs> Sunday, Monday. Yeah, we're having trouble with the days in English here. Yo. So Sunday, Monday. Yeah. Sunday, Monday closed. I'm a very forgetful person in general. Yeah. So. yeah. One day blends into the other. Right. <laughs> And I've been yes, told that so if my head wasn't firmly attached to my body, I'd forget where it was and lose it. And I don't know about you, but with COVID, like I lost a year. Yeah, it's like absolutely. A whole it's just year like there. time ceased to exist. Yeah. Yeah, me too. So that's a little bit more than finger length on top. I should have blended the sides, but how do you like that length on top? Oh, yeah, it's good. Okay. So that's, yeah, they're not bad. Gives you something to style with a little bit. Yep. You can kind of brush it forward and then style everything on top. Yep. I can take it down a little bit more if you want. Uh, Nature's doing that enough. I think we uh, keep as much as we can up there. Yep. Speaking of driving, yeah, yesterday I, I had to pick my daughter up at the high school. Yep. And there are so many teenage drivers around there. And we, we had an appointment and somebody was trying to go left on a very busy street and it was taking them forever. Oh no. Yeah, they weren't they weren't gonna take a chance at all. Like you gotta you gotta pull out there a little bit. They won't hit you, they'll stop. I, I tell you what, I was at uh, living in Falls area yesterday. Oh, yeah. And driving through downtown, I saw the driving school there. Mm -hmm. Their learning car, what the kids learn to drive in, yeah. it's a Chevy Camaro. Really? Yeah. Sure. I was like, how, like, how lucky? Right. I was learning to drive on an old Subaru station wagon. You gotta be careful how uh, far you put the pedal down on a Camaro. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> you might learn really quickly what a speeding ticket is. Seriously, though. It's crazy. <laughs> So I'm gonna blow dry your hair real quick. Okay. So can kind of blend into the feet for a second. Sure. <laughs> How do you like the length in the front here? It's good. I think I can do something with that, yeah. That's a good fish. So is this usually your last moment of the day or do you have another one? One more today. Really? Yeah. Yeah. What time are you guys close tonight? Seven. Oh. It's my long day. Yeah, our first two days are long days. It's yeah, 10 to 7 on the first two days. Five, okay. And then it drops to 10 to 5. Yeah. And then Saturday, 12 to 8. No, no, sorry. Not 12 to 8. Got that backwards. 8 to 12. 8 to 12. Oh, nice and early in the morning. Yeah. Oh. the start of the beer trim. Yep. So, when you're beer, do you like to follow that line like that? I just usually just trim it with a 
you know, whole. I don't really have a plan for it, but if you have a plan, gotcha. All right. Good. Let me know what you need to do with my yep. face. Uh, I just need to make sure the line's straight. Alright. That pull? Mm -hmm. yeah. Just tickles. Oh yeah. No, it's a bad one. There is one accent, and I really wish I could remember where it was from, but it's like a, a little island down in the Virginia area. Yeah. And I worked with a guy that was from that place, and it like took me a good solid two months to understand what he was saying. Really? Like, it was that thick of an accent. We often talk about how um, the Irish accent or the Scottish accent is really hard even for you know, people who live in the United States. Yep. And another thing that kind of gets me too is like, I have a lot of family from Tennessee. Oh, really? Yep. And it is astounding the difference between like a Maine accent and a Tennessee, a Tennessee accent and how they say certain things like soda versus Coke or something right. like that. And it's, it's interesting the differences between the two. I went to, uh, I graduated from the University of Alabama. Oh, so, no kidding. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's where my dad's living right now, is down in Alabama. Oh, nice. What part? I actually can't remember. He just moved there. Oh, okay. Um, it was kind of weird. He decided he wanted to move down south. And he was going to try Tennessee. Yeah. Went to Georgia. I was like, okay, so you're in Georgia. And then next thing I know, he's in Alabama. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> you're down there. I'll tell you what, the food is awesome. The people are awesome. The weather in the summer, not so awesome. No. Yeah. When I worked on tugboats, I worked in the Gulf of Mexico for a little bit. Yeah. And I loved the food. The food was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, Pascagoula, that was oh, yeah. in Mississippi, stayed there for a little bit, and then was in Biola Battery for a little bit. Yeah. Biola Battery, Alabama, huh? Yeah, you know. Well, one thing that I miss the most about down there is when they would have like the uh, crawfish bakes where yeah. they were, and they would just have that table, and you put the out newspaper. Paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. They just come out and dump the whole pot right in front of you. Yeah, corn on the cob. Oh, so good. Yeah. Although, so that was another thing that I thought was kind of funny is growing up in Maine. Maine doesn't really do much with spices. No. When I went to the south. That lit me up the first time. Did it really? It was so hot. Cajun food? Holy yeah. Holy. So good, but so hot. Yeah. I think the first thing that I was introduced to down there was uh, crawfish etouffee. Oh, really? So good. Really? So hot. <laughs> yeah. So how do you like your beard? You want to shorten it up a little bit? Whatever you think would look good. I don't know. I'll shorten it up just a smidge here. Yeah. And then I'll do like a straight razor on the cheeks and the back of the neck. Straight razor? Yeah. Yep. Wow. Okay. Well, that should be interesting. A straight razor could it could cut somebody, right? Oh, if you're yeah. if you're not. Oh yeah. Right, I be... was so upset with myself when I first started working here because I made it all through school without cutting myself with a straight razor. First week here, I cut myself right on the thumb. Are you serious? Second week, I cut myself in the same spot, and I was like, "You really? gotta be kidding me." Okay, let's let's not do that. No, no. But. Yeah, experience now. I might have to stop this just for a second. Okay, sure. Yeah, go for it.
There we go. Let's even it up some. I just remembered the name of that island. Tangier Islands. Tangier accent. Oh, really? That's a, it's an interesting accent. Off the coast of uh, Virginia? Virginia? Yep. Yeah, my first time I was working on a uh, tugboat transporting oil and the tankerman was from Tangier. And he was talking to me. I'm, it was like my first time with him. He's talking to me. I can't figure out what on earth he's saying. And finally, after like several minutes of going back and forth, I figured out he was trying to offer me a bottle of water. And I was just oh. like... <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty simple offer, but... Great. Wow. Yeah. It was that thick of an accent. I just couldn't understand him. I'm sure after like a couple weeks or so, when your, oh, your yeah. ear gets adjusted, you can understand, but yeah. Yep. Okay. How do you like that? I like it. Okay, so I'll blow everything off. We'll get okay. you cleaned up, and then we'll do the straight razor. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah. This was some talcum powder, and it gets rid of all the little hairs that stick to your skin. Oh. Yeah, sometimes when I get a haircut, I'll be finding it for days. Yep. Very first thing I always do when I get a haircut is go take a shower. Yeah. Take a shower and change my clothes. <laughs> yeah. And out of respect to you, I, I took a shower right before I came here, and I'm sure I'll take another shower right after. <laughs> yeah. It's actually, that's something that um, a lot of people... Like, there you go. <laughs> you don't have sensitive skin or anything? Not that I know of. Okay. I know that like some people they don't like a straight razor just because it is kind of a sensitive. Oh, okay. Like, people who have sensitive skin can be an issue. Hmm. And sensitive skin, it just means if um, you put certain lotions on your skin, it might affect it. it they might grow red or itchy. It's sensitive skin. I don't have sensitive skin. Yeah, and what he's going to use is called a straight razor, and it's known to be pretty sharp. So I'll have to be very still while he's cutting my hair, shaving my hair. What's it's a that? Sh shaving gel. Okay. Some barbers use like a hot lather, mm -hmm. but you need a hot lather machine to do it. Oh, okay. So this is a shaving gel, and I actually, I think it's... I like using the shaving gel better than the hot lather because okay. it stays like lubricated longer and you can see what you're doing because it's clear whereas hot lather is like a foamy white color. Charlie knows, but I grew up in Eastern Mass. I'm a Quincy boy. Moved up to the Birches, and I'm having the time of my life. I'm honored to have 
Charlie here today. Oh, we're not talking about connection, okay? Oh, yeah, they are. No, not at all. I didn't even feel anything. Oh. I'll get my face is always kind of a hard place to shave oh, just because no. of all the different angles. I'm trying to get up close to your eyes with my thumb without actually putting it in your eye. <laughs> you always have to stretch the skin when you do a straight razor shave. It's got a nice smell to it. Oh, the shaving pleasant, gel? Yeah. 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 Pleasant smell. That's the one nice thing about barbering is everything has a nice smell to it. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about that? I like it. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you very much. And you're you're good with the length here? Yes. Okay. Yeah. If you want anything um, yeah, right. 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 All right. Cool, cool. All right. Get this off you without getting hair all over you. Oh, thank you very much. I never wear a shirt that I really, you know, care too much about. Yep. Just in case. Yeah. You know, I don't feel any hair on me, though. How do you feel? Yeah, good. Nice. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, so, cash card today? Uh, cash. Cash, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just, uh, just check the prices here, what I got. So I got a haircut and a beard trim. So we'll see. We can use a, another uh, English phrasal verb here, and that is to square up. Since he did, you know, a haircut for me, I owe him money. So we can say we need to square up now and see how much uh, the total is. How much do I owe Jason? So how much is 35 and how do, um, if anybody comes to the United States and yep. wants a haircut how do tips usually work like 25% 35% depends on like if you're paying cash oh okay doing cards. like a lot of card systems it'll prompt you whether you want to do a yeah. percentage what's the average 5% five. 5 no 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 I got like a $5 tip or oh $5 tip, tip. Yeah. oh okay Alright, well, I'm gonna give you a hundred here. I think you did a great job. So. Do you want change? I don't want any change. Are you sure? No, I do. Yeah, I'm Positive. good. Positive. Yeah, yeah okay. you did a great job. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you very you much. much. And thanks for uh, allowing me to record in here and everything. Appreciate it. I'll tell you the rub, I won't tell you the love. Say goodbye to the dog. Bye, buddy. Thank you very much. I'll be back, that's for sure. Thank you. And let the dog out here. No, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> it's already dark outside here. Like I said, inside um, it's November 1st or November 2nd here, so the sun goes down pretty early here in the United States. But I hope you enjoyed that English lesson at a barber shop. If you're looking for something else, me visiting another place, check out the one I did at a truck stop. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.